For problem two in week three regarding kinematics, for physics 2500, we are presented with a woman who is driving in a 25 mile per hour zone. In this 25 mile per hour zone, she is following the speed limit. Okay, so uh, any distance she traveled before that, her speed before that, that's irrelevant information to us. What we are being asked is eventually as she's driving, she enters a new, uh, a new zone. So uh, at this point, she's driving 25 miles per hour from here and prior. Once she reaches this position, from here on out, she accelerates at a constant rate until she reaches 45 miles per hour. And it takes her approximately six seconds to reach that 45 mile per hour mark when she started at the 25 mile per hour mark, right? Because she's in that new speed zone in this area. So now she wants to reach this uh, speed limit in the speed zone. So what information do we know? We know the starting position we have is x0 because we're beginning, uh, we're trying to solve from here to here, right? We know that her initial velocity is 25 miles per hour from here on before, right? It's 25 miles per hour, but we care from here because she's not starting from rest. She's starting from 25 miles per hour and speeding up to 45 miles per hour at a constant rate. We know that our initial time is zero because we're starting from here to zero. We know that our final velocity will be 45 miles per hour as that's the speed she's trying to reach and that she does reach in six seconds. We know that the time it takes her to do this or the final time is six seconds because we begin at zero seconds and she starts, she ends the acceleration at six seconds. Um, to solve this uh, problem, we're going to convert the 45 miles per hour into miles per second. So it's uh, 45 miles per hour go, uh, turns into 0 0.0125 miles a second. And 25 miles per hour is 0 0.00694 miles a second. What don't we know? These are, these are our unknowns. We don't know her final position or the acceleration, right? That's the constant acceleration she takes uh, to reach this point. So we're uh, so what we're trying to solve for is a constant or or should we say uniform acceleration? Uh, there are various kinematic equations that we can use to, to uh, regarding uniform acceleration, but we're going to use this equation, which is uh, final velocity is equal to initial velocity, right? And then the acceleration uh, times delta t, the change in time, and then final velocity two times uh, initial velocity times two times acceleration times delta x, right? But we don't have uh, the variables that we need, so we're going to rearrange this equation. So we're going to, let's rearrange it and plug it in. So you can flip this page, okay. So first we're going to solve using this first equation being a uh, final velocity is equal to initial velocity plus acceleration times uh, the change in time, right? But what we don't know is the acceleration. So we're gonna rearrange this entire equation to solve for a of x, right? So here we have a of x. So we have a of x is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity over the change in time. And using, the remember we converted the 45 miles per hour and the 25 miles per hour into miles per second. So we uh, turn this into 0 0.0125 miles a second minus 0 0.00694 miles a second, right? And then the change in time. So our final time is six seconds and we subtract zero seconds being our initial time and we keep six, right? And this problem so it turns into when worked out, we get A of X is equal to 9.27 times 10 to the negative four miles per second, right? So we now know A of X, that is no longer an unknown to us. So we can cross this off as our unknown. So now we just wanna solve for this, right? So, uh, here we have the final velocity, right? Two minus initial velocity, two times two a plus two a x times delta x, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move because we're trying to solve for a delta x, right? So we're gonna get rid of delta x and we're gonna move this over here, right? And we're gonna get uh, 
we're going to get delta x is equal to uh, vfx2 minus vox2 uh, all over 2ax from being our acceleration. But this was previously an unknown to us, but now we know it. And this is now the only un unknown we have to solve for. So if we plug in our knowns into this equation, uh, delta x is equal to 0 0.0125 miles a second squared minus 0 0.00694 miles a second squared. So it's important to remember that these are just the conversions of 45 miles per hour and 25 miles per hour into seconds. That's to not confuse anybody or to say that we're pulling these numbers from previous knowledge. This is just a conversion of the original numbers given, right? So we put all this over 2 times 9.27 times 10 to the negative fourth miles a second. Where does this number come from? This is 2 times a of x, right? 2, 2. And this number is a of x, as we previously solved for over here. a of x is equal to 9.27. We just plug this in over here. Once you work out this equation, you get delta x is equal to 0 0.058 miles. And this is the dis this is our final uh, position, right? And our initial position, we begin at 0. So, even if, so this gives us our answer to the question about the woman driving in the speed limit of 25 miles per hour, right? It takes her six seconds. So the question ends up being, what distance does the car travel during that acceleration? The answer is 0 0.058 miles.